Morning, guys. Ding, ding. I guess I'll put that on just for you. Just for you. To show me love. For all you little folk on the internet who love to watch me. Um, I'm going to make this quick. I got a big couple weeks coming up here. Pretty big job. And, um, you know, gangster stuff. Ruby Falls, baby. Um, hope all is doing well. It's been a while. Um, I see everybody's pretty much still doing the same thing, which is nice to see. There are a few people I haven't heard from in a while. Um, haven't heard from Catalyst in a while. I see WineMe's uploading a little more often. Maybe I just stopped getting her notifications for a while. BR is um, hit or miss, which is perfectly fine. Uh, there's a few others I was thinking about, but... Um, I got a pretty big, interesting job coming up. There is like a health crisis at, um, look how bright it is, man. It's not even 7 o'clock, and it was like pitch black until 8.30, like a month ago. So that's my, that's the view I have today. Anyway, um, there's a paper mill in a town called Escanaba. That has like a bacterial outbreak, a fungal outbreak. Everybody's getting like, everybody who works there is getting like fucking blasto in the lungs. Blastomycosis. Okay, fungal, fungal lung infection. Um, so, I'm going to go clean the air ducts there. Um, and make people better. I'm going to create a better work environment for the folks of our hardworking communities around the Upper Peninsula. No, so um, it's a pretty big ordeal, though. Um, I had to get fit tested for a mask, right, for a respirator. Here's the thing. This is so fucking stupid. We're not required to wear respirators, okay? Imagine that. We are required to wear N95 masks. And I had to get fit tested for an N95 mask, so for any of you who don't know what getting fit tested in, like entails, to be fit tested, <clears throat> they basically measure <clears throat> the pressure around your mask to make sure you're not losing any air, okay? You don't have any leaks around the seal of like usually your respirator or full face or just half respirator, right? I was so confused as to how you get fit tested for a paper mask, for a cloth mask. Just confused. Um, they put a N95 on you, they put a hood over that, and they just pump like um, a sweet taste. And you basically just move your head around and see if you can taste it. If you can taste it, then you have a not good ceiling mask. Well, I have a beard, and though I just trimmed most of it off, they wanted me to shave my face. So, <clears throat> I told, I, essentially what happened was, I said it was gonna take $3,000 for me to shave my face. I said, I'm not gonna shave my face for a paycheck. Because here's the deal. Um, I'm not trying to like rock the boat, but I can create a headache for my boss for a few hours, have myself replaced. I will still have my job. I would still have my beard and I would still get my paycheck, but I, you know, wouldn't have to deal with all the bullshit. So I said, after a long day of thinking about it, and honestly a long day of being pissed because they kind of just assumed that I was going to shave my fucking face. They signed me up for all this stuff. I had to go get health assessments and physicals done and all this shit. And I'm like, dude, no one even asked me if I was willing to shave my face to do this. I realized my beard isn't down to my fucking belly button, but I'm not going to shave my fucking face <clears throat> for a paycheck that I'll receive anyway. 
So if you want me to shave my face, it's going to cost you three grand. So instead, <laughs> he needed me on that job. So he bought me, he spent $1,400 and bought me a powered air mask. So I got a hood that basically drapes over me and I'll have a fucking hose with a little thing hooked to my belt <clears throat> that's just going to be pumping fresh air into my mask all day, making it impossible for me to breathe in any particulates from outside my mask. So that's fucking dope. Super dope. So that's pretty cool, but that's what I got going on. Um, still eating healthy. I ate Culver's last night. Don't tell anybody. Um, but that's like the only fast food I've eaten in quite a while. Uh, still eating healthy, still exercising my body, still exercising my mind. Um, look both ways for traffic, then proceed. But that's about it, guys. That's all um, I got time for right now. There's other things I need to do before I get to work. I love you all. Um, sorry I didn't get to... Um, I just kind of told you what I got going on. Um, you know, we went from 80 degrees to literally 25 degrees and snowing. Now it's all melting again. Looks like it's going to be mostly clear skies today. I still think, I don't think we have a day above 40 for like another week or two maybe. So we got really spoiled there with like high 70s, mid 70s, high 70s, into the 80s. For a few days, melted everything. Um, had a great time. Got outside, enjoyed that sun, man. Get outside. Fresh air and sun are just great. Um, we're going to Ohio this weekend. Um, <clears throat> and maybe we'll make a video on that trip. So um, I love you all, man. Stay positive. Stay strong. Stay strengthening yourselves in all ways. <clears throat> Smile at your neighbor. Peace out, guys. Love you.